Hello guys, in this video, let us discuss about Azure AD authentication for S2S APIs. So guys, till now, we studied Azure AD authentication for user authenticated APIs. But then, there are S2S, that is service to service API calls as well. So here, there is no involvement of user, but one service calls API of other service. And S2S calls, they are common in microservices. And now let's try to understand S2S authentication with this diagram. So if you see, we have this finance app and it has APIs and we have some other app, let's say HR app and this app, it calls the APIs from this finance app. So here one service calls API of other service. And again, there is no user who is calling API, but then we need to make sure that HR app should be authenticated to consume the API and hence it is S2S authentication. Now as far as this video is concerned, again we will not directly jump to Azure portal. Instead, let us first understand the concepts behind S2S API authentication. That is how exactly this authentication happens behind the scene. So again, we will assume an example of finance app APIs and one of the APIs, it returns the net profit of a BU. And let's say HR app calls this API of finance app. And now let's go to paint app and let's try to understand how exactly we will configure this type of authentication. So again, guys, we are in paint app and again, we will have this Azure tenant over here. So again, this Azure tenant, it is our universe and we add users or apps in this Azure tenant only. And of course it has this tenant ID. So we will create app registration for our finance app. So let's say it is our backend app. So it is our finance app. And of course it will contain APIs. then so again this is app registration okay then we will create another app registration for our hr app so again this is also app registration so this hr app should be able to consume apis from this finance app but of course only after authentication so first thing as far as this finance app is concerned now as it has apis we will expose these apis first step in addition we will create a role as well let's say it is app role dot read so basically we will assign this role that is app role dot read to other service which is consuming these apis so we will be able to assign this app role dot read to this HR app. Okay. And now as you can guess in HR app, we will provide the API permissions. That means this HR app should be able to access the APIs from this finance app. So we will provide API permission plus we will provide this app role that is app role dot read as well. So that means this HR app now can consume or call APIs from this finance app. But guys, then how exactly authentication should happen? I mean, okay, this HR app, it is calling this, calling the APIs from this finance app, but how exactly finance app should trust that the caller is this HR app only, right? So for that, we will have something called client secret. So we will have a client secret for this caller that is HR app. And of course, for every app registration, we have client ID as well. So this HR app, when it wants to generate the token to consume APIs from this finance app, it will say, Hey, I am HR app. See, this is my client ID and this is my client secret. 
so that you can trust me and you can assume that I am the correct HR app which is trying to call your finance API. So based on this client ID and this client secret, this finance app or our tenant, it should be able to trust this caller service. Okay. So that's it guys. This is the overall summary of how S2S authentication will work. And now let's go back to our PPT. So that's it guys for this video. And in our next video, let's create web API project, which will represent our finance app.